one from the Space Coast from Brevard County, the one and only Dorian Gale. Chantel, Chantel, how y'all doing? Keep making some noise. Keep making some noise. How y'all doing? It's awesome. Awesome. It's glad to be in front of my people again. I'll tell you that. Being from Brevard. Yeah, that's right. I, uh, I grew up in the suburbs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not fun. All right. I, I didn't have kids that were around me that looked like me, so a lot of stuff I just fell off on. Simple stuff, right? Like this right here. <laughs> you know what that means. That means you're trying to say hello to somebody. You're just too far away to say it. So you give a little head nod, right? I was eight years old. I'm on this playground. This kid looked at me. He said, yo, what's up, man? I'm like, hey, bro. <laughs> me all the way up. Learn the words to the song you're going to sing. Up. <laughs> oh. Other than that, y'all doing all right, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'm glad to see all y'all in here. It just, it's a good thing, you know what I'm saying? Really is, you know. Yeah, you know. How many of y'all uh, believe in love and know somebody that's ever been in love? All right, you know, I believe in love. And no offense to nobody else, but I believe in black love. Because that's just what my aunt raised me to do. All right? I remember I used to play basketball as a little boy. My aunt used to tell me, she said, now if you, you, gonna, you get good at this basketball, you're going to make it to the NBA one day. But when you do, don't do like these other brothers in the league that come from nothing and make it to the league and go out and get themselves. You laughing already. You know what's coming. You laughing. They go out and get themselves a white woman, all right? She used to say this saying, and some of y'all already know the saying, all right? The saying was, she used to tell me all the time, if she can't use a comb, don't bring her home. <laughs> now listen, you know, we got company in the house tonight. So listen, I don't care. Uh, you know, every, every household had a saying. Now let's not pretend. I don't know what the saying was in your house. In my house it was, if you can't use a comb, don't bring her home, all right? You know what I'm saying? You know, in your household, it might have been like, if he's brown, don't bring him around, kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Chinese, no please, all right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever, you know, I don't know what the saying was in your house, but you had a saying in your house, all right? You know what I'm saying? But my aunt used to tell me if she can't use a comb, don't bring her home. But here's what's crazy, though. When I got a little older, my auntie brought a white woman home. <laughs> Now, I don't care who you love, but practice what you preach is all I'm trying to tell you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I could have been out here snow flying all the snow guns. <laughs> just having myself a good old time, making snow angels and all. Just, you know, here he is, I'm listening to her, you know what I'm saying? She done showed up at the family picnic with this tall, blonde, handsome white woman that looked like Boo is from the orange to the new black and, you know, just, just. <laughs> how y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Tell you right now, I do not tell jokes. Okay? So if you're looking for not not jokes, I am not that person. I tell true stories. Alright? True stories. Um, for an example, I'm gonna tell you something. About two weeks ago, I was in South Carolina, you know, had to do a show. So I had to check in to this raggedy hotel. So when I put my key in, before you know it, I had to fight my way through the door because I had the roaches flying trying to get <laughs> off me not to get in. You understand what I'm saying? So, the, you know, the housekeeper came knocking on the door talking to myself, you know, you're supposed to be smoking that stuff in there. Okay, I was smoking marijuana, y'all. You know, you're supposed to be smoking that stuff in there. So, okay, cool. Walk downstairs. So, by the time I got downstairs, I realized I forgot my blunts. So, I seen some Mexicans sitting up under the tree. So, I was like, me, yo, you can't pass out. Ain't nobody over here got papers. You know, all of them jumped up and went to running on me. <laughs> I got immigration or something like that. But, you understand what I'm saying? But I, I come from a different background. Like, uh, my dad, he's Jamaican. And uh, any Jamaicans in here? Nobody Jamaican here? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, cool, cool. And my, uh, my stepmother, she's white. And, um... Why y'all laughing? How did you get that much on you? No, man. Thanksgiving was interesting. Uh... <laughs> Like, I'm in the guest room, right? You know, it's our first time, our first encounter together, you know, she wants it to be special. So, she comes and knocks on the door. 
Dorian, hi. <laughs> Your dad gave me a list of foods that I could cook. I just want to run them by you to make sure I'm saying them correctly. Chitterlings? Ch chitter, 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 chitter. All right. Not putting the raisins in the potato salad. Oh. I have another one. I'm not going to go through any more. I have another one. Um. Colored greens? <laughs> Stepmom, it's collard. It's collard. Don't ever say that in your life. It's collard greens. Never again say that in your life. Okay, collard greens. Like collard, like collard greens. You don't want to talk, Jake. But tizzy, tizzy is still fun. Cats try to go at the drunk chick. Drunk chick, you get that drunk chick. You are going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> they are the rules. Yeah. They are the rules. Men know the rules. I don't care what ethnicity, what race you are. I don't care how many drinks a man has. He know when we see a car. We know what the rules is. Shut up. The fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, don't say. See, especially black men, we know that we've been pulled over so many times. <laughs> <laughs> we program. We we turn to actors. We we can be a mid conversation. Me, me really. I'm telling you, that no, I'm telling you, no, no, because you do it in there. Oh, oh shit, a cop. <laughs> Like it's a movie. 